Tonight, we are going to be talking about which radio is right for you. How to find out which radio is the best one for your needs and what are some of the differences between the different models. And I'm sure Jeremy has some ideas in his head on which ones are best suited for which needs. Well, some of us forget to check the checklist. And other times we forget to put the checklist in the back. So <laughs> Lenny put on there or charge your battery. Now I have been guilty of that. Yes. Also, I have done that as well more than once, especially when I'm trying to pull something up for the 878 and I'm like, oh, I haven't used the radio in a while. The battery was charged last time I used it. And then I forgot, oh yeah, the last time I used it, I was going to put it on the charger. Oops. Um, so spare batteries are a plus. Or in the case of the 168, you can always charge it on the go with the USB-C built I into really the radio. Like that. And that is a feature that I've heard from a lot of people. They would love to actually see on the next generation of any tones besides the 168. And I agree with that. So let's get down to it. Um, for everybody watching on YouTube, uh, thank you for being here tonight. And also, if you are a BC Plus member who's watching on YouTube and you don't have the link in your email, please double check and make sure we have the correct email for you on file in your account so we can make sure you're getting that email from the list. Uh, there are a few services that unfortunately have blocked the list in the past, and it is a royal pain to get them off of that. Disabled. Thank you, uh, Hotmail and Outlook for that one. What was that other one? Um, Hotmail, Outlook, there was another one that we had trouble with for uh, quite a while, and then it finally resolved. I can think of the one, but my voice doesn't go up high enough for that uh, sound. Yahoo! Actually, yep. <laughs> That's the one I was thinking of. Hey, great minds think alike, man. Great minds think alike. So which number am I thinking of right now? 316-3074. I was going to say 168, but... Um, oh. <laughs> all right. So, uh, Jeremy, when you're thinking on-the-go radio for Aries, CERT, Search and Rescue, and it's the Anytone, which one are you more likely to Tried and true has never let me down. My 878. This radio has its battle scars. And uh, it's been kicked, it's been dropped, it's been ran over. I've been kicked uh, while I had it on my uh, pocket when I was out riding horses. Uh, yeah, we, we, it took a flight. About a 25-foot flight before I landed on the ground, and it was still on me. The only thing it did was break the clip. If it was any other radio that I personally own, it would have shattered it. And it would have been a brown bag full of junk. But this radio is tough. Uh, granted, it is not where I can go throw it off in the pond and let it set for any amount of time. But I have had it on. It's been raining, been snowing, etc. And it's still talks perfectly today one thing i will say about the 878 and this goes for any radio um if you get the radio wet and it's not ip67 or higher rated um like in the rain dry it off immediately don't let it sit with the water on it and where the water can ingress into it because that will you know that can cause issues and if it's high humidity out and you're going from indoors to outdoors hmm. or vice versa, um, maybe take and let the radio sit with the battery off of it just for a little bit in case there's, you're in a high humidity situation. So you hmm. don't have to worry about condensation. Well, uh, here We've all here. had those experiences with glasses yeah. where... You go from where it's cold and go outdoors, high humidity, and your glasses fog up. Well, I know with my fellow Okies that are in the feed, I can vouch for it. Also, my friends that are down there in Florida. 
whenever you're out there, you can take a, a towel in the middle of summer, swing it around three times and wring it out just because of the humidity. When it gets that time for us up here, uh, I use those silica bags. Yes. And I have a cup holder mount for my five or my eight seven eight for my truck. And I've got that silica bag right there that the radio will literally set on while it's in the mount uh, to help mitigate that moisture issue. I haven't had a single bit of trouble. This particular 878 I've had for four years now, and it's been through everything and back. I still have my original 868, which was my very first Anytone, and it's been nine years since I've had it, and it still talks today. I am not easy on my equipment, so the being rugged for doing search and rescue, uh, field searches while in law enforcement, I carried both the 878 and my 868 when I was on the fire department, being through fires in it. I had to replace the, the antennas quite a few. They got singed, but that's it. And uh, uh, Rob, as far as your question for what type of bag, it is a silica bag that Normally, you can get it any sporting goods store to put in a gun safe to help mitigate moisture out of your gun safe. The same thing I have that I throw in my cup holder, I go through two every summer here in Oklahoma. 